Hi guys, welcome to this video. This is Jamie from System22 and GreatWebDesign.com. I've just had a question from somebody. They've downloaded this Start Bootstrap template here called Freelancer from uh, StartBootstrap.com. I'll put the link be below if anybody wants to uh, download it. And they're asking how to change the color of sections. Let's have a quick look at it. It's a very simple, nice, clean bootstrap site. Um, with a few sections here and a little transition effect going on over there and a little contact form. And the question was, how do you change the background color of one of these sections? Well, it's pretty simple, but um, I'll take you through the process. So let's just get rid of this a moment while well, we'll go back and hit the download button to download the theme there. Once you've got the theme, just go ahead and extract it. And it'll give you this folder right here. And we've got everything we need in here, plus a bunch of stuff we probably don't need as well. And the main files we're going to be working on is this index HTML file. So let's open that up with our text editing software. This is free software called Brackets. I'll put a download link for this as well below the video. There's our in index HTML. I'll just get rid of all these other ones here. And we want to be working on the CSS files as well. Now we've got two there, freelancer.min and freelancer. Freelancer is the one we want to be working on, but it's really important to make sure that our index HTML is, is pointing to the right file here. I'll show you in a moment. So let's open this with our brackets as well. Now if we go back to our index.html file, if we go down here on line 25 is this custom styles link. And if we look at it, it's pointing to the minified version. We've got CSS freelancer.min.css. And all the minified version is is exactly the same as the regular CSS version, but they've taken out all the gaps to make the file size slightly smaller, which obviously makes the, the file load a bit quicker. But we want it to be pointing to this one because it's going to be a lot easier to load. If I just demonstrate for you, and I'll bring up the minified version with the bracket, it's going to look like a bunch of junk. Um, <laughs> actually, it's not too bad. But it's 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 just a block of text, and that's kind of not very easy to edit and find what you want. Whereas this is a lot more organized and easier to edit. Um, so let's get rid of that minimized one. Once you've made your edits to this one and finished your site, you can always reminify the file and and make it go back. But there's really not that much here, so I don't think it's gonna make a whole lot of difference. Anyway, let's bring up the site. And for those of you that follow my videos, you know how to do that. Just double click on the index.html file and it will bring up that page. I'll just pull this over here so you can see it. And here it is. I had two questions. Um, the first one was how to change the color, background color of a section. And the second question was how to change the transition color there. And they're pretty much the same answer. I'll take you through that. So let's go back to our index HTML file in our brackets software here. And that line that I was telling you about, we want to make sure we're working on just the CS, not the minified. So all I'm going to do is take that out so it's pointing to the right file. So it's just saying freelancer.css. That way we're pointing to the right file. Do a quick save. Then back to our site. Now, change the color of the background color of this really easy. Let's just click on it and inspect. There, it's given us our background color right there in the background BG primary. And uh, it's actually, if we look over to the right here, it tells us what line it's on as well. 
Um, let's just refresh that because I'm looking at it and it's still reading from that minified CSS there. So let's just refresh this. There we go. Now I've refreshed. It's pulling the the regular CSS file in, free answer CSS. It's on line 261. Okay, whatever color we want, let's just try it with our inspector here, just for uh, for uh, expediency. I'm going to put in blue rather than a hexadecimal color. Okay, well that works. So that's effectively changed the color on there. And if we look across here, line 261, we can go straight to our CSS and make the change in there as well. So let's close out that inspector. Go back to our CSS and line 261, I believe we said. Freelancer CSS. Let's drag it down to line 261. There it is, right there. And we'll just turn that blue, I believe the color was we used. And quick save, control S. And back to our site. Now when I refresh, refresh, it should stay the same. There we go. So that's how easy it is to just change that background color there. Now they've got this little star here. That's obviously a font awesome, I believe. And it's got the old background color in there to, if you want to make it blend in, we want to change the background color of that as well. So let's just left click on it I mean right click on it I apologize and open the inspector and it's that star light it's probably like a before or an after let's try the after yep there it is right there after there's that color and we can see that's on line 41 of our CSS again let's just change that to blue or because that way it's going to blend into the background that's great quick save well we don't need to save it we just need to go to our CSS to line 41 there we go and there's the color just put our blue in there quick save Control S back to the site. Now when we refresh, it should stay the same. There we go. Now these font awesomes, I don't, I don't know if you know about font awesome or not. But font awesome's fantastic uh, and supplied with a lot of bootstrap themes. Let's drag it over here. There it is. Go to fontawesome.io and You want to make sure you've got the current set being used, but um, I know we're using a star here, so do a search for a star. Here's our star. Let's say we want to change that solid star. I think it's a solid star, wasn't it? Yeah, solid star. Let's change it to something else. Let's change it to something like user, which has been there from the start, uh, which is a little guy. There it is. Let's change it to user. So just click on that. And it'll give you the font awesome name and also the Unicode number, which is what they're using in this site, the Unicode number, which is F007. Now, if we go back to our site and have a look, just get that inspector up. And it was on the after, wasn't it? So we've got to open that up. There it is right there, content F005. And it's on line 29. So I think, what was it, seven that user? I don't know if we can change it here or not. I don't think it'll let us change it here, but if we go back to our brackets editor, and what do we say, line 29? Here it is. Let's change that to F007 and it should change it to that little user icon. Quick 
control S and see if that changes to the little user icon. There we go. There we go. So that's just in case you want to change your little icon there. And the second question was the text overlay here or the, the color overlay here. When you hover over, it changes to this greeny sort of color. And let's change it to our blue color again, real easy. Select this and inspect it. There it is. There's our color. And it's on line 158. So all we need to do is put our blue color in there. And now when we hover over it, it should be that nice blue color. So let's just do that back to our bracket software I think it was line 158 wasn't it there we go and all we need to do is replace that RGBA color with our color of blue or whatever color you happen to happen to want to use quick save control s back to our site do a refresh now when we hover over it, it's our blue color, the same as our other features up there. So I hope that's answered those questions for you. And I hope you found that useful. If you have, please subscribe to our channel below. If you're interested in customizing Bootstrap templates, we've got a full five and a half hour course below that you can take. It's heavily discounted for our subscribers here. It takes you through the whole process, uploading it to the server, doing your contact forms, everything, and it'll enable you to build these sites really fast. So please click on it and take it if you're interested in web development. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and GreatWebDesign.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.